Welcome to another parent teacher video lesson from the earlygiftedmanual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. And welcome everyone to video lesson 39, Algebra Lesson 2. Here's what you'll need for this lesson, um, mostly just uh, paper and pencil. So you'll need a pencil, uh, copy paper as usual, a sheet or two of copy paper, uh, and six printables from the early gifted manual. And I'll show you those as we go along here. Okay, so now uh, we talked about uh, algebraic equations and uh, what, I, what I call missing number equations. So let's actually uh, solve some uh, on, with paper and pencil. And how we're going to do this is we're going to be uh, counting on with fingers. I think uh, at some point you have to leave all the, the tally marks and uh, number lines and uh, everything else uh, behind and, and just uh, move on to fingers. And hopefully by this point your, your child will be uh, getting to know the math facts better. So uh, hopefully he or she has memorized many of the math facts and won't even need uh, fingers to do these lessons. But uh, if he or she does, uh, we will use uh, for this lesson, anyway, just a counting on with fingers method for solving these problems. Okay, uh, we're going to start out with uh, um, this printable, algebra addition to nine. So we're going to be doing algebra addition problems, missing number problems. And here's the rule that, uh, that we will be using to do these. Uh, it, it's, it's actually very simple because it works for addition and subtraction missing number problems. And the rule is this, to find the missing number, whether it be addition or a subtraction problem, we can simply count on from the smaller number to the larger number. So in essence, what we're actually doing here is uh, we're finding the difference between the two given numbers in the equation. And that difference is the missing number. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, let's start out with this very simple one here. Two plus how many equals three. And of course, uh, in the beginning, like we always do, you'll be modeling for your child and then he or she can take over. Well, um, we've, we've uh, done a few of these now. And uh, if, if you remember, if your ch child remembers, and I hope uh, he or she does, we're going to count on from the smaller number to the larger number. So here we go. Two plus how many equals three? So we're gonna start at two, and we're gonna count up one, three. And that tells you what the missing number is, one. Let's do another one. Four plus how many equals six? Okay, we're counting on from the smaller number to the larger number. Four, five, six. And there's our missing number, one, two. And of course, uh, at this point, uh, your child has done hopefully many of these, so this should be a very easy process uh, for her to do. And uh, I could go down the rest of them here, but I think you get the idea. So let's move through the rest of these, uh, these um, what I call uh, pr these printable practice sheets that you can get uh, on the early gifted manual. Okay, let's move that one away. Now we have 
Still the same thing. Uh, it says algebra addition to 18, missing number problems, but now uh, the numbers have gotten a little larger, all the way up to 18. Let's just uh, do a, a couple of those. Um, 9 plus how many equals 15. So we're going to count on from the smaller number to the larger number. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And your child can count uh, the fingers that he or she has out. Uh, she may be able to do that just by looking, but if not, of course, you can, uh, she can tap each finger on her cheek once. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the missing number is six. Let's do one more. Four plus how many equals 12. Okay, we're counting on from the smaller number four up to 12. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and uh, of course that is uh, eight. So you get the idea. And like I said, hopefully uh, your child at this point has memorized some of these and, and does not even need his fingers. All right, let's uh, move on to this one. And now we're looking at subtraction. Algebra subtraction to 10, so missing number subtraction problems. Well, nothing really changes. We're still going to use the same um, strategy, so to speak. We're going to count on from the smaller number to the larger number. So 5 minus how many equals 2? Two. 2, 3, 4, 5. And as you can see, there are three fingers out there. That's our missing number. Let's do the next one. 7 minus how many equals 6? Six. 6, 7. There's our missing number. 1. Let's just do one more. 9 minus how many equals 4? Four. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And of course, your child knows that uh, there are five fingers there. So, as I always like to say, it's as simple as that. One rule fits uh, any kind of uh, missing number problem where uh, you have a missing add end or a missing uh, subtrahend. So, let's keep moving on here. Here's uh, uh, the same thing algebra subtraction to 18, so now we're just dealing with some larger numbers, and uh, let's, since I have it out here, let's just uh, do one. Uh, 10 minus how many equals seven? So we're gonna count on from seven, eight, nine, 10, and that of course is three. So working with larger numbers. All right, uh, and now, uh, what I've done is I've created this uh, practice sheet for your child that starts to mix things up a little bit. So uh, uh, he has to know, you know, all of his strategies for solving uh, not just the, the algebra problems now, but he has to go back and remember how he, how he solved these addition problems. So uh, let's do a couple of these. All right. Four plus how many equals six. And as we can see, this is a missing number problem because we're looking for an addend or a subtrahend. We're not looking for the total. So four, five, six, and there's our answer, two. Okay, one plus how many equals three? One, two, three. Of course, the answer is two. And now look, now he's going to have to uh, shift a little bit uh, into another mode because now, as, as she can obviously see, this is not a missing number problem. Uh, we are looking for a total here in this problem. It's an addition problem. Three plus two equals how many? So let's uh, use our counting on technique. Uh, and of course, with addition, this is a little bit different. We're going to start with uh, the larger number, three, and we're going to put out two fingers because that's the number we need to add to three, and then 
count those. Four, five, counting up from three. And if your child has forgotten, forgotten that strategy for solving addition problems, you, you should go back and uh, perhaps work on that a little bit. Uh, so he can easily go back and forth between using these two strategies to solve problems. Okay, um, and I, that's all I'm going to do on this sheet because you get the idea. And now we have the ultimate challenge, addition, subtraction, and algebra addition and subtraction to 18. So everything is mixed up here. So um, uh, let's just do one or two here. 7 plus 6 equals how many? So uh, 7 and let's put out six fingers and your child is going to count on from seven and I'm going to tap these on uh, my cheek. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And on and on here. Maybe let's just do one more. Eight plus how many equals fifteen and your child will have to shift because now we, we have a missing number problem. We have the total. We're missing uh, the add in there. So let's count on from 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and of course we have 7. So like I said, hopefully at this point now your child is, uh, can work on these uh, practice sheets using just fingers and hopefully uh, he or she now knows many math facts and, and does not even need the fingers to find uh, these missing numbers and sums and differences. And of course we can also put these algebraic equations or missing number equations into a column form and let me show you what that looks like. Let's see, let me think of a, a, a problem here. 6 plus how many equals 11. And um, by this time, your child is very familiar with the column form and should have no trouble reading this problem. 6 plus how many equals 11. And of course, uh, they will know that it is the same thing as this. 6 plus how many equals 11. And of course, um, these can be flipped. That's the commutative property. Uh, how many plus 6 equals 11. So that shouldn't throw your child at all. Uh, subtraction. Let's see, what would a subtraction one look like? Let's say 12 minus how many equals 8. So that's, um, that's what it looks like in a column form. And like I said, uh, this should not throw your child at all. Uh, they should be very familiar now with the, with the, the column form of uh, these equations. And if uh, you want to, uh, if, you, if you want to do more practice in this column form, there are two practice sheets that are available on the Early Gifted Manual. So go to this lesson, Lesson 39, on the Early Gifted Manual, and you will see a reference to those two practice sheets. And that's Lesson 39, Algebra, Lesson 2.